Today we are going to talk about the Canon 40D. Specifically, I want to talk to you about uh, what I found out by disassembling my camera and trying to repair a common problem with this model, which is the shutter mm, stopping working over time. If you try to Google it, well, damn, look at how many people try to find out something about this problem. But unfortunately, despite uh, all the threads in various forums, there's very little information to be found in those links. They basically all tell you the same things, like popping out the battery, changing the lens, swapping the CF card, which honestly didn't work for me, and I'm ready to bet it doesn't work for you if you're watching this. So, before telling you about my findings, I want to make clear this is not an official or standard procedure from Canon. I just came up with it myself. And don't try it if you're not comfortable using a soldering iron and you have a certain amount of expertise with electronics. What you can see here is uh, how the shutter looked like when I first disassembled the camera. I think it's quite obvious what the problem might be. So the first thing I did was reflowing all of those joints covered in white uh, dust, which partly fixed the problem, but uh, I wasn't done yet. So, uh, a camera shutter is not a particularly complicated mechanism. I'll leave a link in the description to a quite nice video that explains to you how it works. Uh, however, it, I didn't find much information online about these things which appear to be sensors, some kind of sensor. I can only speculate it might be an optical sensor because um, if you look here closely on the part uh, of the shutter that moves, it appears to be shaped in such a way as to block whatever kind of communication is happening between the top part and the lower part. So what I did was just uh, taking a Q-tip, soaking it in alcohol and rubbing it in between those two parts that, uh, in my opinion, are having optical communication going on between them. Although I didn't find anything about this on the internet, and that's why I said that it was just speculation. And before completing the job, I noticed by reassembling the camera that the uh, four contacts of those two sensors we just cleaned are dangerously close to the motor that runs the shutter mechanism which is made of metal and uh, this is not a particularly wise engineering choice by Canon I was quite surprised Can you please explain? So I just put a piece of electrical tape between the motor and the shutter mechanism just to be sure I'm not sure if this is what fixed the problem but I think it might help in the future if further corrosion builds up on the solder joints. Unfortunately, after reassembling the whole camera, I found out there was another problem. This one that wasn't there before, which was uh, that uh, the metering system seemed to no longer work. It would uh, completely uh, mess up exposure in almost any case, leaving to either underexposed shots, but most of the time overexposed shots. And this was kind of an easy fix, since uh, what I did was just to put uh, another piece of electrical tape on the contacts on the top part of the camera. Just uh, as a side note. And that's it, folks. I hope uh, this video would be helpful to anyone attempting to perform uh, such kind of repairs. Please let me know if this method worked for you. 
and most importantly if it applies to other camera models you might be trying to repair thank you for making it to the end of this video and for now i wish you a nice day